Hello, and welcome to another, or should I say, a little surprise stream today. Gonna do some casting and probably uh, some games. Pretty simple, self explanatory. So we're just gonna get into that right now. Alright, so. Do, 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 do. All the wars are left. Alright, first things first. So we got an Amer two two Americans up top. Helmet and Chris Christano. And then we got OKW and Fairmock down here. BNB and Jerry Mouse. We got a lock-in of the heavy cavalry company so there is probably the chance we will see the pershing because pershing is a decent tank for ones and twos generally it's not a great heavy tank for uh threes and fours you probably would prefer something else but for ones and twos it's not bad and i hear the sound of a kubel so we got a kubel out here uh americans very much going with like the exact same build of Making riflemen right off the bat. Their classic on an MG42 over on the left side. For B and B. Uh, some of these intel bulletins. An LEFH bulletin. Very interesting. Uh, 50 cal stuff. Pens are four. Very good. A lot of rifleman stuff here, which is a very good choice. A little bit of pen. Extra pen for the M1. Pretty decent choices. The only ones I'm very much question is the artillery production one. Especially for a 2. V2. Kubel engaging the rear echelons over on the right side. Wish I could zoom this out more. I do control shift this. There's something here, but. Anyway, I got riflemen engaging with the MG taking shots off here. Uh, riflemen are very much outnumbered here. I don't know if they're exactly going to uh, win here. I mean, even with the house, they might. There, There is the option here. Someone is named after an exchange. Ain't captains on the field? Oh yes, crypto, crypto, yes, yes. Got the cutoff here with the rifleman. They're gonna push him off and get the connection back. Rear echelons are gonna go for the left VP here. More engagements over on this side. We got volley fire. Not gonna do anything because the storms are currently in green cover. Uh, Jerry Mouse should be able to uh, push off here. Here goes one, and the riflemen will soon as well get pushed off. Uh, no other lock-ins for any other ones. They're gonna scavenge the Kubel because it got killed. And we got one uh, half track coming. Battle phase one is getting finished. Uh, I know you did captain. Did you pick one yet? Okay, you got lieutenant. That just got on the field. You were making... Oh, you're going double officer. Okay. Uh, very uncommon. What you see here. Oh, captain is making stuff built quick, though. Interesting strategy. Rifleman in green cover again, fighting the MG, gonna get smoked off. Okay, we got armor company now locked in. Rear echelon's going for a push over here. Not sure exactly how well it's gonna go. MG gonna set up over here now, out of the smoke. Some shots off. Rear echelons are gonna try to go around, but... Even if they get around, I don't know how pretty it's going to be. That's the lieutenant and rifleman coming up. 
I'm just gonna set up in a new direction now. Much more favorable for BNB now. Uh, looks like, uh, Chris, Chris, Chris Kendo is, uh, pushing back on that right side. Uh, Jerry Mouse brings his entire blob back up. Finding the battle group headquarters kind of exposed because currently he doesn't have anything on the field. MG's moving. Helmunt going f or Helmunt going for the cutoff once again. We should be able to get it here. Wow, a lot, lot of riflemen over here. And the blob of folks rack and build. Uh, no one has a vehicle yet, but all right. Anyone even building a vehicle right now? Oh, there's a okay. There is an M20. Yeah, I didn't even see the M20 over here. Grenade. Yeah, so got that cut off again. It could return the favor by getting this cut off over here, but most likely, uh, I don't think that's gonna happen with how much the uh, Germans have been on the back foot here. 50 cal doing good damage to the Gren as it retreats. M20 is also going to put in some pot shots. I just did start casting. Yes, about, uh... Well, I mean, I've been live for 11 minutes, but I probably have only been casting for, like, six. Yeah, I'm now getting that right side again after, uh... Getting pushed off. Stuart is out. That's so where that rack comes into play. Finally getting that connection back, BNB. Rack gonna push up. I'm gonna try and get the Stuart here. Nope. It's caught by the rifleman. Gonna have to back off. Hopefully, not gonna have to force retreat too far. And he's down to three. Stuart gonna push up again because he knows the rack backed off a little. The rack gonna sneak around a little bit on the right. Gonna open fire. Gets a shot. Gets a good connection. Helmut is uh, back to pushing BNB back again. Both them, both Americans have locked into a doctrine, and neither of the Germans have yet. We should probably, uh, get going on that. MG-34, setting up. Solid arc it's got there. Hell, I'm not going to try and come up from the side here-ish. Side-ish. But still in that arc. As the MG-34 is going to open up on it. Where do we got the smoke coming in? Over on this side. 222 is on the field. He's got if he and a Stewart. Okay, so we got an M20 and a Stewart. This one's the M20. This one's the Stewart. I I said them but in the wrong order because I went, oh this is the M20. I went M20 Stewart. I'm like, yeah. The other way around. Anyway, Stewart picking off the grin here. MG-34 opening up on the rear echelons again. Stewart moving up. So both Americans have opted to both go for a Stewart. Not sure if that's the best choice here or if it's not horrible. Blobbing over here. Nice blob of double rifleman and a lieutenant. Rifleman also coming from the other side. Because MG can only shoot in one direction. Lieutenant getting around. He's around the arc. Does he have a grenade? Uh, it's not teched. That could be a problem. As he gets suppressed again somehow. Stewart gets hit by the rack and gets pushed off. Lieutenant is forced to retreat here. As, uh... Eskendo, uh... Takes the fuel back on the right side. 
Let the Germans take the VP, and we'll probably push this uh, rifleman off quite quickly. Seems like BNB is having a bit more of an issue over on this side. And the racket, a good, another good shot off on the Stewart. Yes, that's another connection. He needs one more hit. One more hit. That's all he needs. And he'll get it. He will get that connection. Stewart goes down. Putting the uh, American a bit behind here now. Well, uh, Helmut is doing all right over on his side, but uh, Skendo now gets pushed off because he lost that Stewart. Does make a 50 cal now. <laughs> Sturm's trying to scav salvage this right on the front line. 50 cal opening fire, there it goes, suppressing. League is opening fire, too. Iraq is gonna back off, Sturms are gonna back off, MG-34 is gonna get back in its position that it was in earlier. Got some Grens getting around the- oh, nope. They're about to walk into the Ark. They did not walk into the Ark, okay. Thought they were going to for a second, because he probably didn't see it. 50 cal will get away over here. Oh my goodness, double pack guns! Just opening fire. For the amount of damage it did, I feel like only one hit. Some smoke coming down on the MG here. Things are gonna have to back off a little. A lot of Volks over on the on the right side right now for Jerry the Mouse. 50 cal setting up, because it's going to want to start opening up on those Volks if they push up. But, the League is currently smoking, so the 50 cal does not do anything for him right now. Red Smoke's going to get called in, which is going to probably be the major already. Yep. Going to force him off that fuel. Well, not necessarily off the fuel, but at least out of this area here. Okay, Volk is down to one there. Uh, you probably don't want to try and push that up. This guy plays risky games. Okay, it died. Kind of saw that coming. Back guns opening fire again. Misses the Stuart. Friend's gonna push off the uh, captain here. And these 222 is gonna come back up to the front. 222 really hasn't gotten to do too much. Stewart coming on up. As the pack guns back off, which means the Stewart actually won't get any supporting fire. On the shot that it took. MG42 opening up fire on the rifleman. Friends are just engaging the rear echelons here. Stewart pushes up again. Oh, nice mortar hit. Uh, there's the mortar. Nice mortar hit to take out the MG42. Oh my goodness, what an aggressive Panzer headquarters. Alright, well now Helmut has a major out as well. We have no tanks for the Axis except for that 222, which, I mean, isn't a tank, it's a white vehicle. BNB is, uh, I think having more issues over here. Lost something. I don't know what he lost, probably a Gren. Scout car gonna back off, pack guns are gonna move up. Double 50 kills. We're gonna try to, I think, take out the MG here. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. 
All right, well, Jerry Mouse uh, takes, takes a couple engagements over here on the uh, right side. Obers are not in the pretty shape. I would retreat them. Okay, that's going to cost you some manpower bleed. I hope you can afford it. A lot of Volks, though. MG34 gonna open fire. That means, uh, yeah, he doesn't have anything over here. Mostly because the Panzer headquarters should be able to cover it. And I believe that's mostly of how he got VP and fuel. Is, uh, help with that. Wolverine on the field. Interesting. Renee, that doesn't do much. 50 cal's running back. Setting back up. But, uh, they're, the folks are just gonna overwhelm it. With sheer numbers here. And take down the 50 cal. Folks are gonna have to retreat here. Ooh. Interesting that he has it targeting the infantry. Because, you know, it's really not gonna do much. Rack moves up to deal with the M10 now. We just lost a unit. Yeesh. I imagine the, uh, the Americans are going to fall apart once the Axis pull out a tank, because uh, neither one of them really have anything to do with tanks. The only thing is the, uh, the M10. No one has an anti-tank gun. I mean, we got a bazooka and an M10. That's all we have as options right now. Okay, we got both Axis players here now. Fighting off, uh, Skendo here. Doing decent work. Red Smoke gonna get called in. I'm gonna guess that's Major Artie again. No, not this time. Oh, it's the 240. Oh boy, he needs to get out of there. Overs are gonna wipe the Major here. Scout car playing a risky game there. Oh, Stuart dies to the teller mine. Ouch. That never feels good. Scout car gonna push. Lieutenant out of cover here. I'm gonna force him off. I, I wouldn't even be in that, even if it was my own. I wouldn't... Mm, no thanks. Over just around the 50 cal here. Scout car also doing some work here. Uh, allies, now that they have lost their light vehicles, are not in the greatest shape. 222 can now do whatever it feels like. Because neither one of them... The only AT is the M10. Which, if you know where that is, you got free reign. And now we got a Panzer IV, which they have nothing to do about it. Absolutely nothing. Oh, never mind, they stole a rack. That is apparently their answer to deal with the Panzer IV, is the stolen rack. Panzer IV should be able to help push this left side now. B and B should be able to take it from Helmut now. Quite easily. Because oh no. There's one bazooka. Which will do great against the 222, but probably won't do much to the Panzer IV. These double pack guns are absolutely unnecessary. Triple Volks moving up. Gonna probably run, yep, gonna run right into that 50 cal and suppressed. Alright. And that's gonna cause him to retreat off completely. Oh, there we go. We have Elite Armor Doctrine locked in. And Jerry Mouse is building a Panther. Or just the M10, I guess. Rack's moving up now. We got a lot over here. B&B's got a lot to try and deal with Helmet over on this side. 
Helmet still only with the one bazooka to do with the Panzer IV, and that's all he has. That's from green smoke. It's interesting. Your armor hit. Oh no, the smoke, it hurts so much. Uh, that Panzer IV needs to go to town. It can do whatever it wants. Two, two, just trying to protect the mortar back here. We have out uh, now a bulldozer, Sherman. Uh, still not going to be a great choice against the Panther. Ooh, Panzer IV, I believe, ran into a mine. The actual decent mines, but you have to have a certain doctrine for it for Americans, which is kind of annoying. And bulldozer Sherman is going to start going to town. Panther is gonna move in. Okay, there it goes. A decent hit. Panzer Shrek and Panther getting good hits off. He is going to smoke somewhere. I don't know where he's smoking. He's not trying to smoke himself off. Where is the smoke? Panther needs to back out. He's got the heat heat rounds active. Volk's trying to flank around and it does not go well. Double grenades. Alright, Panzer IV is able to come back into the fight here. Still, Helmet has not built any option to deal with the tank yet. And, he said, and instead he opted to make fuel caches, which one has been destroyed. Is still okay, another Panzer Forum build for BNB. Panzer IV is gonna go see what else he can find. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And it's gonna find uh, probably not much of anything threatening. Yeah, well now he has another bazooka. But still, that's only two bazookas to do with, well now, two Panzer IVs. Oh, he was, oh, he was just beelining for the Pershing. I see. You better hope that hope turns this around, but... I don't know how useful it's gonna be when he has double pack guns. Pershing gonna reveal itself, opening fire. Speaking of opening fire, both pack guns. Panzer IV taking a very interesting way to get back home. Pershing already lost half its health. Oh, and BMB is gonna lock in the Blitzkrieg Doctrine. Oh, he's going to kill. Oh, he's going to push a part. He's going to run back in into those pack guns. He needs an AT gun. I don't care how bad the American AT gun is. You need the AT gun. And if you're pumping munitions into it, yeah, it's good. But otherwise, it's terrible. Pack gun backs up a little bit. No, they're not gonna chase. Only for good reason. Panther with the her engine over on the right side. And two forties are coming down as well. It is just a little. There we go. There's the AT gun. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Screndo still only has the back. Has lost the bulldozer, Sherman, now, though. It's double pack guns, jeez. If he can get vision on that Pershing again, he can start opening up on it and just wailing on it. Crew ready. 
looks like Helmet is gonna actually go help Crescendo go push on his side, hopefully to turn the tide here. Double side that one side, and then hopefully hold that, because currently they do have middle. And there's the M10. Kind of exposed. Panther's going to find it and open fire on it. Person is going to go back to the left side and get absolutely hit by a pack. Oh yeah. German dozer is ready for action. I mean, if he's got double pack guns, it would be better to have like multiple medium tanks than having a Persian. But not okay, AT guns kind of exposed, and it may get wiped here. Yes, I I, I told you you, need, you needed an AT gun, but that also means you need to protect. Wow, okay, that Gren, those Grens just got pinned. Oh, those are with a nice shot. Oh, there's the Storm Tiger. I kind of want to see the Command Panzer as well. Ooh, what a hit. Where are the packs? Oh, they're set up here. One died. Oh, there's a decent hit by the Persian. MD-42 probably won't survive very well over here. Storm Tiger does a shot and gets two kills. I think that, yeah, that was rear echelons. That finished him off. Yeah, so Helmet did end up losing that AT gun. I got decrewed. And uh, he's walking through mines now. I'm critical on a small amount of damage. That's actually... That, that can be useful. Oh no. Oh, he was gonna go for it. He wanted to. Well, I think their easiest chance is just to grab middle. To be honest. And allies just have to keep holding what they need to. Your echelon is going to start probably mine sweeping after they were finished repairing the Persian. Okay, I, I think I see the problem with the axes right now. Is they keep doing these mass retreats. This is, uh, this is very bad for them. Like, you just stop blobbing up. And then you gotta stop. Mass retreating. It's killing you, man. Like, that's a little better, because it's just one guy having to have to retreat. But, like, if you're gonna do a mass push, you better, like, go around something and kind of spread them out. So then they all don't get pinned. Sturm. Sturm. Okay. Okay, that's gonna wipe the rifleman and completely stun the bulldozer. Sturm Tiger's gotta get out of here. Panther needs to finish off that bulldozer. There's a shot. It's hurt. He's gonna charge in. Gets the head off. And I think he's gonna try and finish off this M10 here as well. Yeah. He's gonna put Crescendo back at no vehicles. Oh, Helmet only has the Pershing and is currently building a Jackson. Okay, that needs to get out of there. That, that keeps getting hit. Do they both have double 50 cal? They do both have double 50 cals. Okay, okay Triple Folks is back in middle again. Hopefully they don't mass retreat like they did last time. Red smoke coming down on what I presume to be nothing. Tank destroyer is ready for orders. 
Oh, he did the fake one. Ooh. There's nothing there, though, to fake out. That's the thing. Person trying to get around here. Panzer IV doesn't like it. Double pack guns are here as well. Not gonna be able to make too much progress with that sitting there. Overs are behind. Here comes the triple folks, all blobbing up. This time it will work out, because they're able to deal with what they needed to. Panzer IV is gonna charge the Jackson? No, it gets hit by it gets hit by an AT gun, so it's gotta back off. Helmet remade his AT gun, which I'm very happy about. 50 cal gets taken. And uh, the folks are on the move here. Not sure what they're going for. Oh, they were trying to get the crew out of there. Trying to take out the vehicle crew. Uh, double files the Jackson, but I don't know if you really have anything to follow that up. And also, your folks are very much hurt. May get wiped here. Panzer IV wanted to follow it up, but... A terrible idea. Oh my gosh, the Panzer IV gets absolutely wrecked. That gets taken out. Is that a Scots? Interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what all died there. But Sturm Tiger is up to 11 kills now. Okay. Uh, only thing going on is capping in middle. Right side has completely been, uh... No one cares about it anymore. I'm gonna quick, uh, turn my fan off. Okay. Mm. Little skirmish over on the left side here. That'll force the captain off here. MG. Uh, we got a rocket half track now. Interesting choice. I, I, uh, I did not see that coming. They're kind of blobbing, but honestly, this is the guy that's blobbing more versus Volks. Always move together. Oh, they got killed. Never mind. <laughs> Nice skirmish for the middle. Sturm Tiger gonna move up here. Does he see? I don't think he sees it. Ooh. That was juicy. Scott's gonna do some hits here. Panzer Fairfair gonna wipe out the 50 cal and the Major. That's gonna hurt. Panzer Fairfair is hurt somehow. Panzer IV opening fire. Pershing finds him. Not a situation he wants to be in. Okay. You can't just move up and expect to not get hit by a Jackson. But yes, I get it. The Jackson's hurt, but still. It's protected, there's stuff around it, so it's gonna see you before you see it, and it can do damage to you. Obers aren't gonna do jack to it. Also in a horrible situation. MG doing work again here. Double packs. Pershing's gonna challenge the double packs. I'm gonna get swiped out. Another Jackson in build, okay. Yeah, now he's starting to go into that AT round. AT uh, realm. Gonna read through that. Absolutely, he is. Bounces on the Pershing. That is a bit unfortunate. Smoke comes in. By a helmet. I'm not sure why he called it in. 
Oh man. I don't think it gets that. That too. Crew defend the tanks with gr grenades. Interesting. Okay. Fans are very for doing some decent hits. Actually, not really. I don't think he took out a single model. I think he just did damage. Fans are four trying to challenge the Pershing again, and it's not going to go well, obviously. Actually, we move up a little here. Stolen 50 cal is gonna defend the middle. Getting hit by the Scots. It's not gonna go well. Like is the grenade? I was looking at it, I saw him throwing grenades out. I'm like, that's not an ability he has, I can't see it. I'm like, oh it does it on a balloon I bet too. Dang. That gets pretty cool. What's Fet 3? It's just accuracy and rate of fire. Them Tiger is ready to go once again. He's he's gonna go for this, I'm gonna guess. Oh no, he's gonna go for that AT gun? No, he's gonna wipe it. I honestly thought he was gonna go for these two, because they're first off clumped together. And you can probably take out both. Also, you're probably dead here. Especially if you keep getting pinned. Yep, there he goes. Heavy armor has been lost. 250 would have hit it anyway. Actually, I think it would have been back a little bit more. Panzer Vare, we're gonna call in a shot here. He's gonna hit the Pershing a little bit. A little bit of the AT gun takes out one model. That's all it's gonna do. I'm gonna do too much. Jackson's repairing. Panther gonna come in. Is this? Oh, it's just increased pen and damage. Okay. Am I get? Does it get for range? No, it doesn't. You start really trying to break this left side because they can take out both these Jacksons and the Pershing. That's gonna put them in great shape. He's gonna try. Probably gonna be a terrible choice though. He got lucky that bounced. Otherwise, uh, he would have been dead. Stuka close air support is coming in. Does, does a tiny bit of damage on the Jackson. That'll do more. That second plane that came by. Takes out the main gun of the Jackson. And the Panzer Force is going to try to challenge again. Here. Finds a mortar. Gonna get a smoke out of there. Rack finds him real quick. But he'll get out of there fine. Double Scots now for, uh, for Skendo. He's gonna start getting little shots here. Smoke coming in. Gary Mouse now has a Stuka. Panzer Verfer coming in. Hitting the Scots mostly. Doesn't hit that AT gun. What just happened? I just saw like four dudes blow up. What happened? Like I was kind of seeing what happened, but. What? Alright, either way, uh... NB actually has some, but he's making another Panzer Verfer. Interesting choice. And, uh, I don't know what his plan is here. Yeah, so, uh, Helmet has held on to both Jacksons and Pershing now. Pershing has hit Fet 3. Wherever it's chilling. Oh, it's, oh, they're gonna probe the right side here. See what's going on here. Scott's isn't gonna like what he finds, though. To be honest, Pershing won't really care about it. Pershing's just gonna start 
chipping away at that Panzer headquarters. Scott's going to take out the leak here. Very good. And Panther is going to come support over here. Because he's not happy about what's going on over here. Scott's getting stuck on each other. There goes one Scott's. There goes the other one. Oh my goodness. Just, that's a dead Panther. Yep, there goes the Panther. Escendo has made a uh, Jackson as well. Panzer headquarters went down. Allies are looking like they can come back here pretty easily. Well, it's probably because B&B is floating. 370 fuel! Is he making freaking Panzer verifiers? He has nothing. Nothing to protect those now. The only armor they had has basically been lost. And Jerry Mouse can't make more. Because he needs the Panzer headquarters again. Thankfully, he got a King Tiger out. As, like, an actual tank. Oh, well, they're both making Scots now. It's probably a good call here, because, uh, they don't have tanks. <laughs> MG42 is gonna have to back off here. King Tiger... He's going to be upgraded with uh, Panzer Command. King Tiger going to slowly turn its turret. Take a shot at the Rifleman. I'm doing much bunkers here. Hitting the Rifleman, but the Pershing is just going to take it out. Ian B needs more stuff. He needs tanks. He has pack guns and panzer verify. And that's it. King Tiger pushes off the rifleman after they capped. Pershing's very hurt though from those pack guns. They've they've been doing work. But still, you need tanks. Uh oh, Pershing. Pershing may be exposed. Pack gun's gonna instantly set up. And Engine is now damaged. I'll be honest, I'm not confident they can live through this. Or I'm not confident if they can survive. I don't know. That's just, Scott's just doing work. Are the pack guns? Pack guns are just capping. Okay, well then for sure they're not going to finish it off. Scots are back in action. Scots are ready to go. Scots are ready to do some damn. Oh my gosh. It lived? Why did it stop? Oh, that's just nasty. If they can get around those pack guns to get to those Panzer Verfers, uh, I think BB is done for. Oh, he did lose one. He has lost a Panzer Fair for already. Panther's being built. Probably a better choice. That's gonna be a complete and utter miss. Yeah, that's what I thought he did. For a barrage. Honestly, Elite Armor is a very munitions heavy doctrine. It's a very- actually, it's a fuel and munitions heavy doctrine. Because you can go King Tiger and Stern Tiger. Which is a lot of fuel. Then you've got, like... You have the Panzer Command that you can upgrade with. Then you can do Coordinated Barrage to call stuff in. Which is more munitions. And these explosive heat shells. Which also... Lot, which also is more munitions. And Axis is driving this again. Why are the Axis winning here? Scouts is almost dead. Alright, though. 
Oh man, that's a hurt rack. Oh. He remade it in like the same spot. You would think he would have learned. Hey, if it died here, maybe I shouldn't make it here. Maybe I should play it a bit more passive this time, so then I hopefully don't lose it and all that fuel again. But nope. Put her in the same spot. The same freaking spot. Tiger could be in trouble here. Getting lit up by AT guns. And he's gonna push forward. Nope. Nope. He's gonna go back. But he is hurt. They're down to 100, though. Somehow, allies have not figured out hey, we can wreck them with the amount of tanks we have. Pershing's gonna find the Panzer headquarters again, and it's probably gonna get killed again. But someone thought, hey, maybe that's a good idea if we put this here. Panther coming around the side here. This is gonna keep going. Alright, he, he was probably gonna kill the dude. Panther's gonna back off from the sheer amount of Jacksons. Pershing's gonna back off from that rack. Almost kills the Panzer headquarters. Because it's still there, you can't cap. Rifleman gonna get pushed off, can't get the cap, just decap. They need to take that left side. Except there's the double pack guns, that's the issue. No one would be good right here. 240s. They need vision though, that's just the problem. So Scott's knows it's there! I'll let it fight the Scots. Calliope's would act absolutely wreck that. And then we're up with the Calliope Doctrine. Facts are setting up over here. They have nothing in range, but they are ready if they, uh, they push. Panzer Verifer back in the base again. Pershing is gonna run into not what he wants. Yep, saw those coming. Oh, that, that could very well be a dead person here. Or a dead panther? Or both? Either way, the Axis have won. Would they have killed the panther? Possibly. Which still would have been a good trade, though. These double pack guns ended up in the end actually doing really good work. Like, I, I do like the double pack guns because it does good damage. Uh, it just does really good damage to vehicles. Like, you can't do too much about it with any vehicle. You need to deal it with it with infantry, basically. Or indirect fire. If you have that as an option. Which is the main thing. You need to have it as an option. Which I mean. They had Scots. Or if they just went. I don't know a mortar. Or something would have been okay. But. I didn't. I mean the Scots. Scots were doing as much as they could. Especially since those two Scots that got lost was a big hit. Yeah, Axis ended up doing way more damage because the Allies had the tanks.
Yeah, all these people basically know what they're doing. This is the noobish one, though. I mean, this one... This one honestly played pretty well. For having that smaller amount of hours compared to other people. Yeah, so I ended up losing them and never remade them. No point, really, too. If anything, you'd maybe rebuild the captain. Because his uh, fighting is in a war rule. Either way, uh, that was a good match. Alright, let me find another one. <laughs>